Hey guys, welcome to another tier ranking, and welcome to my Johnny Depp Movies tier ranking. Uh, I've been looking forward to doing this for a while, since I've been doing tier rankings. Everyone knows about the case going on with the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case. Justice for Johnny, hashtag Johnny better fucking win that case. <laughs> um, I'm going to do, I've done a top 10 list of Johnny Depp movies, but now I'm just going to do a tier ranking of every Johnny Depp movie I have seen, which is most of his films. I've... I think I've only missed a couple. I've, there's a few I haven't seen, but pretty much most of his films, especially these big ones, I have seen. So, very excited to talk about some Johnny Depp movies, because he's got a lot of great ones. He's got some stinkers. Oh, does he ever. But he's got a lot of great ones, too, though. So, uh, S is the best. F is the worst. Let's get to it. Uh, I'm going to start, of course, with the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Then I'll go in order from which these are randomly placed. So the first parts of the Caribbean is easily an S tier. It's one of my favorite live action Disney films. I think it's like the ultimate adventure film. I think this is right up there with like uh, Indiana Jones as like that, like it's like right up there with it. Like as like the ultimate action adventure film. Jack Sparrow is an amazing character which Johnny Depp portrayed beautifully. I, I love this, like, story of this, like, this cursed ship with cursed men and everything. I, I love it. I think Gore Verbinski did an amazing job. I think Johnny Depp, Orlando Bloom, Keira Knightley, and Jeffrey Rush are all solid. It's a great movie. And Dead Man's Chess is, I think, a pretty good sequel. I don't think it's anywhere near as amazing as the first film, but I still think it's good. I think it's underrated. I think a lot of people kind of shit on all the sequels because, yes... There are bad sequels to Pirates of the Caribbean, but Dead Man's Chest ain't one of them. I think Davy Jones is a great villain, and I love the stuff with the Kraken. I love how it gets much, much, much darker than it, than the first film, and I still enjoy it. And I also like At World's End. I think At World's End is also pretty good, and I think it's actually a good conclusion to the trilogy, which it should have been a trilogy, but it was not. I love, like, Chai on Fat in it. I love uh, that you got, like, Keith Richards in it. It, it. it was a fun time. It's a fun movie. It's got still that great humor as well. However, they continue the fucking franchise. On Stranger Tides is fucking garbage. I hate that movie. I, I can't stand it. I think it's so stupid. I don't think it works. I think the humor is terrible. I don't like Blackbeard as a villain. I didn't like Bill and Cruz. I didn't like what they did with Barbosa's character. I think the movie was just garbage. Just terrible. I thought Dead Man, Tell, Dead Man Tell No Tales was an upgrade, but still not a very good movie. I, again, I, I, I they butchered Barbosa's character. They put this like weird twist with him and the, and the girl. It, that was ridiculous. Uh, Harry of Ardem is kind of a cool villain, but I think the visuals on him look kind of silly. I think the movie itself is just a very silly premise and a silly idea. And just, I don't know. I think... I think they should just stop with the Pirates of the Caribbean. I think they're making more, obviously, but nah, the first three were solid. Four and five, let's just pretend they didn't exist. Another film that I pretend didn't... Uh, the, another film, sorry, I like to pretend doesn't exist is uh, The Tourist. The Tourist is not a very good movie. Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie are both, like, really bad in the movie and have no chemistry whatsoever, and it has a very stupid twist in it. It's not good. Edward Scissorhands, that's A tier. Edward Scissorhands is a solid film. I think Johnny Depp is just unrecognizable in the movie. He's spectacular in the film. I think Tim Burton's direction is amazing. Winona Ryder's great. I love Vincent Price in the movie. I love the music. It's just a great film. You got Benny and June. Benny and June is a really good movie, too. It's a great love letter to almost like classic cinema in like Charlotte Chaplin and Buster Keaton films. And Johnny Depp carries that film and Super funny, super creative, and also very emotional, too. Ed Wood, S-tier. Ed Wood is an amazing film. It's Tim Burton's best film. It's one of Johnny Depp's best performances as Edward D. Wood Jr. Mark Lando also is amazing as Bella Lugosi. You got Bill Murray, Patricia Arquette, Sarah Jessica Parker. All in the film, all good. I love the black and white uh, style of the film. The aesthetics is fantastic. Feels like you're watching an old-school, like, 40s film. And I love that they made a movie about the worst filmmaker of all time. You can tell the disaster artists borrowed a lot of troubles from Ed Wood. The Ninth, the ninth Gate. 
not a fan. I know there's like a fan base for this movie. I do not. I don't like it. I don't like its horror aspects. I think it's just a stupid movie. Uh, Johnny Depp is good, though. I will say Johnny Depp's good, and I do like the score. That's about it. Donnie Barrasco. I gotta go S tier. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I might go A. I don't know. Just Johnny Depp is so fucking good in that movie. I love it. Especially, again, watch the director's cut. The director's cut is... If it was a theatrical cut, I'd put it in, like, the A tier. But because of that director's cut, like, oh, it's so good. Lone Ranger. Like, I'd put it in F, but that train sequence is an amazing, amazing sequence. So it puts it up to the D tier, but it's... Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, Alice in Wonderland. They're both fucking garbage films. I fucking hate both of them, and him as the Mad Hatter sucks. Yeah, uh, I'll see the Looking Glass is way worse, but, yeah. Rango is the most overrated film. I'm not a Rango fan. I know it plays, like, a lot of homage to Fear Loathing Las Vegas, which I also find very overrated, but, um, yeah, it's not a fan of Rango. The animation's nice. I could see where they were going for it. It wasn't for me. Same with Fear, Fear Loathing Las Vegas. Like, I, I know a lot of people love that film, but just, I'm not a fan. I don't like it. I don't like its kooky style and its bizarreness. I just... There's some Terry Gilliam films I love, like Brazil, but I'm not a fan of Fear Loathing Las Vegas. Below, that's an underrated film. Great movie about the dr drug industry and this drug dealer and everything. It's very... Very kind of sympathetic villain character he plays, and I think he's solid in the film. And I actually think Penelope Cruz is pretty good, and I usually don't like her as an actress. <laughs> good movie. Very sad ending. Uh, Public Enemies is John Gil John Dillinger. Very underrated. Uh, also, Black Mass is underrated. Like, these two movies, he plays gangsters. Both very underrated films. Uh, very good story. Black Mass is a little dull at times, but his performance is so fucking good. And I love the whole third act of Black Mass. So yeah, definitely check it out. From Hell, from Hell, not great. It's the Jack Ripper story. Johnny Depp is pretty good. Just I don't know. It's not spooky. It's not interesting. It's just I don't know. It's, it's not that great, really. Just, you know. Corpse Bride. Corpse Bride. Corpse Bride's really good. I'll put a Corpse Bride in A tier. Fuck it. Look at it. It's a great fucking movie. Great animation. Great story. I love that it isn't overstates welcome. It's only like a 75 minute film. It just gets right to the point. And it's just so solid. I watch it every Halloween season. And always love it. Dead Man. Jim Jaramouche. That's a pretty good movie. It's not bad. Uh, same with Sleepy Hollow. Both uh, Tim Burton movie. Uh... They made a live-action version of The Adventures of Ichabod, Mr. Crane, and they really succeeded. Very bloody and gothic, and plays a lot of homage to the Hammer Horror. Dark Shadows is fucking stupid. <laughs> it's a really fucking bad movie. Oh god. It's not funny. It tries to be very much like Adam's Family meets, like, Beetlejuice, but not as funny or creative as either of those films. <laughs> oh, Into the Woods, another film I didn't like. I put it in the D tier, but Sorry, D tier. Not not a fan. Crimes of Wall. Transcendence. Morricone. Oh no, these are all bad movies. The Rom Diary with him and the shithead Amber Heard. Oh god, these are all awful, terrible films. Such a stupid uh, idea and dumb movie. Wally Fister, don't direct a film again. So unfunny and so fucking boring. <laughs> Murder on the Orient Express. I liked Murder on the Orient Express. Some B tier, I think, is good. Um, The Libertine. Oh, it was... Eh, not great. The Brave, that was okay. That was not bad. First see to see your movie. Yogos, there's trash. Okay, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I've talked a lot about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I've always called it, like, it's underrated. And then I'm like, oh, maybe it's overrated. But I'm like, it's... it's Compared to the original, it's 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 so inferior. Way inferior. The original is so much fucking amazingly better. But there's stuff I enjoy in it, and Johnny Depp's kind of stupid in the movie, but the movie it got its moments, so it's watchable. And I don't know. It, it, it's not that bad. It's just nowhere near as good as the Willy Wonka on the Chocolate Factory. Now I'm in Elm Street, one of the greatest horror films ever. Just amazing. Chocolat. Chocolat's great. 
Let's burn down the next day. That's okay. I think Johnny Depp actually makes that whole movie. I, I think if Johnny Depp actually wasn't in the movie, the movie would be not that great, but he is, like, the best thing in that whole movie. He's fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, Riding Neverland. Oh, Riding Neverland's really good. I got B-tier. Very good performance. Sherlock Gnomes. F. <laughs> the Astronaut's Wife. This is actually not a bad movie, actually. It's pretty fucking good. Sad as, actually. I'm gonna put all these movies. Cry Baby, great musical. Teen Girl, great. Yeah, these are all B-tier. So, yeah. A lot of B-tier Johnny Depp movies. Uh, I was expecting more A-tier ones, <laughs> sadly, but... Uh, guess not. Alright, let's put these in order. S-tier, Ed Wood is his best. And then Pirates of the Caribbean and Johnny Brasco. Yeah, I think those are his best movies. Like, when I actually think of Johnny Depp, like, yeah, Ed Wood, Johnny Brasco, Pirates of the Caribbean. Like, fuck yeah, like, those are his fucking movies, man. And, yeah, like, yeah. I think Nightmare on Elm Street is the best movie out of the three, but Johnny Depp's, like, he's not, like, a main character in that movie, but, like, these two are great Tim Burton Johnny Depp movies. Like, yeah. All right, for the B tier, um, what's going on the top? I'm going to put Finding Neverland on the top of B tier because he is so good in that movie. Then I'm going to put the parts of the Caribbean sequels, yeah. Then I'm going to put his gangster movies because I really enjoy Black Mass and Public Enemies. Then Benny and June, then Sleepy Hollow, then Chocolat, then Blow. Then Crybaby. Then What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Then The Astronaut's Wife. Then Dead Man. Murder on the Universe. The Imaginary of Dr. Pronounces. This might even maybe made the A tier, but he's very small in the movie, so yeah. Once by New Mexico, because he makes the film. And then The Brave. Then Chocolate Dark Factory. There we go. Oh, not great movies, but what's on the top? Oh, God. Shit. I guess I put the Libertine on top. It's not a good movie, but, you know. <laughs> There's some musical aspects that are good. The train sequence, at least, is good. That. He's good in the Ninth Gate. There's creative stuff in that. Mm, nice animation, I guess. Like, mm, There's one scene I really like. <sighs> Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it like that. <laughs> uh, the top of F tier, I'll put The Rum Diary. You know, it's the most boring film he's ever played in. My god, I couldn't stand that movie. <laughs> and then I'd put, I guess, Dark Shadows. I don't know. Then the Alice in Wonderland movies, and Fantasy Beasts, and then I guess Yoga Hosers, then the Hearts, then Mordecai. Yeah. Yeah, more guys is fucking worse. That movie's fucking stupid. <laughs> so there you go. That's my tier list, tier ranking of the Johnny Depp movies I have seen. So let me know in the comment section below. Please tell me what is your favorite and least favorite Johnny Depp movie. Let me know in the comment section below. Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and join the duck side.